92.5. Rook and Jubal's second date update. The gym is a great place to meet women. You just go in there, and you make a wrong turn on your way into the locker rooms, and then boom, you end up in the ladies' locker room, <laughs> and there's tons of women around for you to meet. Oh, yeah, we're just, just waiting the, for you And it's there. like, I can't go anywhere. I'm in my towel. I got to hit the showers, ladies. Uh-huh. Let's have a convo. That's where the girl who's on the phone today for a second date update met the guy that she wants to call. She was taking a shower at the gym, and he just popped what? up from behind her and was like, hey, what's up? No way. That is not true. <laughs> right, Nicole? Is that how you met this guy? <laughs> no. Oh, no. okay. Well, you said in your email that you met him at the gym, and like I was just thinking the standard. Oh my God. I was like, is he talking about someone else? No, no, no. that's oh. you, Nicole. So, so you actually met him in a different way at the gym. That's weird. Yes. So what's this guy's name? <laughs> His name is Preston. Whoa, Sounds like you Why like that, that name a lot. <laughs> I had a crush on a guy named Preston once. Preston, it just sounds nice. I don't know, just the way you said it, though, Nicole. His name is Preston. <laughs> oh my god! So how um, did you how did you meet Preston? So I met Preston at the gym. Um, he was playing a game of pickup basketball, uh-huh. and I was working on the machines. And so, like, I guess the ball strayed where I was, and so I just threw it back and. You know, I watched a little bit, and then afterwards he came around and started talking to me. No one was in the shower. Um, mm. <laughs> Everyone pretty, had their clothes on. It's a pretty boring story, Nicole. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. So you guys struck up a conversation at his basketball game or whatever? Yeah, all yeah. Right. And, you know, we exchanged numbers, and he said, like, oh, you know, let's hang out this weekend, like, right away. Um I was excited. And I can I just say that's impressive because when I go to the gym, I am like a sweaty, sloppy, disgusting mess. <laughs> I was too. <laughs> I don't believe that if he's hitting on you. I think he still looks cute. Uh, it doesn't matter. For yeah, us. it doesn't matter. Guys will <laughs> literally walk around the gym and hit on girls nonstop. I guess they figure like if this is as bad as it gets, I don't know. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Starting from the bottom. <laughs> so your email also said that you actually haven't been out on an actual date with this guy. Why are you calling to do a second date update? I know. Okay, well, you know, right away, he was like, I really want to meet up with you. And I was like, cool. Mm-hmm. And we've been talking, like, via text for, like, two weeks now. It's like, text, 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 a couple of long conversations. <laughs> but I kid you not, he has put this off, like, five times. And not, like, casual or whatever, but, like, we actually set dates. And then he'll just be like, oh, somebody came up. I need to push it. Then the next time, oh, it looks like it's going to be, you know, a couple of days. Oh, no, actually, it's going to be next week. Oh, man. And, you know, you- after the fourth time, I was like, hey, you know, if you're not interested, it's totally cool. You know, I'm not trying to, like, whatever. But he's like, no, I really want to meet you. So then the fifth time, he pushed it, like, another couple of days. And I just, I don't know what to do because I already, you know, I offered to kind of, like, let him off the hook. Yeah. And I, I don't know. I Facebook stalked him. I can't find anything on him. Because you immediately think that he's in a relationship, right? That's like my immediate thought. Like obviously, that's what he's... I thought, yeah. And I don't know. Like it's it's weird. Like on Facebook, it says he's single, but I can't find anything else. You know, so it's not like he's really active, and you mm-hmm. know, I can verify. Maybe that's just like a placeholder page or something. <laughs> it just know. keeps blowing you off every time you guys set a date. Yeah, and it's getting kind of annoying. Like I kind of don't want to even deal with it anymore. But I I really like him. Like I like him more now than before because we had a few like long text messages, and he oh, seems yeah. really cool. Like he's volunteering for Toys for Tots. I mean, like come on. <laughs> Maybe he's just stringing you along. He's trying to play the hard to get game. Like yeah, sorry, my schedule's super packed. Ew. We'll go out in a month just to you know get you on the hook. If you're lucky. Yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna have to like show up at the Toys for Tots events and embarrass myself. No, like I need your help. What are some of the reasons he's given for pushing the dates back well this is the thing he won't even like be specific which is what made me really suspicious you know like it couldn't be more suspicious than if he said you know oh my apartment's on fire or something mm-hmm. stupid you know it's like there's nothing it's just like oh something came up my schedule got packed blah 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 i need to push this uh it looks like it's you know <laughs> what is it i don't know is he like a secret agent or something <laughs> maybe that'd be the best case i mean yeah maybe if i was angelina jolie it's like you like mr and mrs but i'm not <laughs> yeah i'm assuming that you have a theory on it you know you always have some sort of theory when you're talking to someone and they keep blowing you off at least i know i do and you're like why are they doing this well i mean like before i actually came out and asked him i thought he was in a relationship mm-hmm but it just seems like we text a lot, too. And if he was, like, his girlfriend would be really suspicious. Why is he always texting someone? Right. You know? So you're texting, like, multiple times a day? Yeah, that's what I mean. So, like, I feel like 
if he was in a relationship, it would have to be like a long distance relationship or something like that. I, I don't know. Like, see, I don't like speculating like this because then I feel paranoid. <laughs> right. Totally. <laughs> now you're getting even more worried. <laughs> what do you guys talk about when you text? Like all kinds of stuff. Um, like, oh, the other day he texted me this adorable cartoon that he drew for his niece's birthday. And I was like, oh, that's oh cute. this guy is pouring it on. <laughs> yeah, you um, think so? I'm going to volunteer for Toys for Tots. So, mm-hmm. by the way, I spent seven hours painting something for my niece. It's <laughs> just like a pencil drying, but yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll play a song, come back, call him, and get your second date update, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Hang on. 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the morning. Second date update. If you're just tuning in for today's second date update, Nicole is on the phone, and today she wants to call a guy named Preston. <laughs> Even you say his name. And Preston <laughs> is a man among men, according to her. Oh my goodness. He volunteers for Toys for Tots. He spends hours making art pieces for his little nieces to enjoy. She met him at the gym, and they've been texting back and forth. They haven't gone out on an actual date yet, and she's wondering why she keeps getting blown off, and I think I figured it out. Nicole? Yes? I think that the man that you described, Preston, is actually an angel. Oh. Oh. And he's been so busy up in heaven whispering in God's ear about the problems in today's society. And once he gets that solved, he'll come back down to earth to take his rightful place in your heart oh, and take man. you out on a proper date. I was this is so embarrassing. I hope he never hears this. <laughs> I hope he never hears this. This is so embarrassing. So you don't, you don't oh my think God, my theory Nicole. is right that he's an, actually an angel? No, I just hope he's not a cheater. Well, he might be a cheater because he might be cheating on you with God. (laughs) He's got a higher love. All right, anyway, I'll stop with that. But yeah, we're about to call him right now and find out why he's just been leading you on via text message. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't use that music. Yeah. (laughs) I don't want to use that music either, Nicole, but I have a feeling as soon as he answers, it's just going to (laughs) start. Because he sounds like such a great dude. All right, I'm going to dial the phone right now and get him on the phone, okay? Okay. Here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Preston, please? Uh, yeah, this is Preston. Hey, Preston, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a morning radio show. Uh, what are you guys doing? I'm calling because we recently got an email about you from one of our listeners. It's a girl named Nicole, who you met at the gym. Nicole emailed you about me? She did. She emailed us because she says that you guys met and have been hitting things off via text message, but you haven't gone out on an actual date and you keep rescheduling. So she thinks that you're blowing her off and she wanted to see if we could get you on the phone and find out if, in fact, you don't want to go out with her. Uh, no, I do want to see her. I, uh, what? That's why she and I have been texting so much. But if you want to see her, then why do you keep changing the date on her and being like, oh, I can't do this day and uh, maybe a couple days and then you end up pushing that date back too? I don't really understand what's with all the questions. If if I need to clear all this up with Nicole, I'll just do it straight up with her and right. we don't have to go through you guys. Yeah, but okay? Ni- Nicole asked us to call you. Do you like her? You think that she's cool? I said yes already. Yeah, I like her. Okay, well, you're on the verge of losing her because you've blown her off so many times. What are you talking about? Come on. Like, you know how it is. If somebody blows you off constantly, eventually you're going to be like, all right, fine. They don't want to go out with me. I have a feeling that Nicole is right at that point. Well, again, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and just deal with her. And uh, I don't feel like we need to go through a radio station. Yeah, but she like she said you haven't given her a straight answer. Well, I don't know what to tell you guys. It just seems weird. Do you feel bad about it or something? Do I feel bad about what? I don't know about her yeah, kind of being no, bummed I, out. I mean, I mean, I'm yeah. I, I don't want to bum her out, but you know, again, things just get busy. I mean, I'm hoping that I can even hang out with her in the next three to four days. Is that business days, or does that include weekends too? <laughs> <laughs> why three to four days? I really don't understand what you guys are after here. Well, we just want to know why you keep blowing her off, and she wants to know why you keep blowing her off. And I feel like if you're not honest, and if you don't tell us or tell her. She's going to stop talking to you, and then you're going to lose your chance to go out with her. 
All right, fine. If you guys must know, uh, I'll tell you, but I, I don't want you guys to give her all of the information. Oh, no. Okay. I'll just give her the important stuff. <laughs> okay. I I had surgery, and uh, I'm still healing up. So. Oh, are you okay? Okay. Did you tell her you had surgery? No, I, I didn't tell her, and I'm... I'm doing fine. I just uh, I'm still recovering, and it's taking a little longer than uh, they told me it would. And so, you know. Okay. Well, that would probably be helpful, though, if you were talking to her and were like, "Hey, I had surgery." You know. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but I, I just I don't want to get into the particulars of the situation. I don't think anyone's going to pry into your medical history. Are you doing okay, health wise? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. It was cosmetic surgery, so I'm not. It, it's not like it was, uh, you know. My life wasn't hanging in the balance. It was just a cosmetic surgery, and it's taking a little longer to uh, heal. What, what sort of cosmetic surgery? Um, it was uh, it was something below the waist. <laughs> what do you mean? You something got surgery on your junk? What? No, no, I didn't get. No, I. Is that how it's? Uh, yeah, I guess that is how it's noted. Yeah, it sounded kind of. <laughs> it sounded weird the way you explained it. You're making did you, it prettier somehow. I don't get it. What'd you get done? No, I didn't. It wasn't on my junk. I, uh, I got, um, I got butt implants. You did not. You seriously got butt implants? <laughs> yeah. Like Kardashian style butt implants. <laughs> no, I don't look like a Kardashian. And I don't want to. I. Uh, no, I just sort of had a not much down there for <laughs> my whole life, and yeah. uh, I do a lot. You know, I go to the gym a lot, and nothing seems to happen. So I, <laughs> I, I just want to look a little bit better in jeans okay. and stuff like that. So that's not a big deal. Does it hurt right now? <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt. But I mean, there's still some, you know, a little bit of swelling, but. It's not like I can take a girl out to a restaurant or sit in a movie theater. I, you know. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Sure. I do also have to tell you that Nicole is actually on the other line listening to this conversation, Preston. She's what? She's listening, and she wants to talk to you. Hi. Uh. Hi. So uncomfortable. Oh, my gosh, Preston. I don't know what to say. Um, this is such a bizarre. You're, I don't know. I mean, it it looked fine to me. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's just uh, something I kind of had to get done. I've just always been a little insecure about that area. Oh my gosh! It's it's it's, it's just so like I don't know. I just wouldn't peg you for. A, Okay. <laughs> Is this pretty shocking to hear that Preston was getting butt implants and that's why he, he hasn't been able to go out with you? I, I didn't even know this is like yeah. a thing that guys do. A lot Sorry. of guys do, yeah. I mean, you know, it's your body. You do it whatever you want, I guess. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm I'm trying to be really, like, <laughs> um, is, is it a turnoff for you, Nicole? I don't know what it is. I'm... I feel like I'm on another planet. I feel really weird. <laughs> I don't feel like turned off or I just feel like confused. Um, All right. I mean, well, now you know I wasn't blowing you off. I'm sorry that you kind of felt that I was, but I really, I do want to see you. And like I was telling these guys, unfortunately, the, the timeline has just taken longer than it was initially projected. And hopefully in the next three to four days, if you're still <laughs> up for it, I'd, I'd really... I really do want to take you out. <laughs> it's, well, I'm, I'm glad you weren't blowing me off. I'm, I'm, I'm the same guy. I just have a different butt now. <laughs> I bet it's going to be fantastic. Aren't you curious to what it looks like, Nicole? I mean, actually, Brooke, I'm kind of curious. Yes. Oh, are you? Okay. Well, then let me ask Preston this. You guys haven't even gone out on a date yet. But Preston, when your butt heals up, you guys will go out. We'll pay for a date. Really? Yeah, we'll pay for it. Yeah. Nicole, do you still want to go out with Preston? Yeah, I mean, we don't even have to sit down. It could be like... <laughs> <laughs> a stand-up date. <laughs> no, I don't want to be okay. silly. I, just, I feel bad. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want it to be weird between us when we hang out. I, I don't want you to be like, 
staring at it the whole time. Okay, but it's already weird. It's already weird. <laughs> My eyes are up here, Nicole. My eyes are up here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, like, how about this? Like, if if I agree to go out, like, you have to wear tight pants because I have to see it. <laughs> That's it, because I won't be staring if I just, you know, uh, all right. you, open, you open the can of worms. All my now, pants are going to be tighter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's not even you know what? I'll oh do you God. one better. We'll pay for the date, and Preston, I will personally buy you some yoga pants <laughs> that you can wear off, that you can wear to show off your new butt. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know about going out in yoga pants, but. Uh... <laughs> All right. Hey, it's well, good money. You might as well show it off. <laughs> congratulations, you guys. It wasn't really a second date because you guys haven't been out yet, but it is a successful second date update because Yay. you guys are going to go out, so that's good. <laughs> well. Uh, this was the weirdest thing that I've ever done. Well, you Really, you got a butt implant, yeah. and this is the weirdest thing you've ever done. I find that hard to believe. Broken Jubal in the morning.